Well, you are taking a live look here at Center City, Philadelphia from our camera that's on the Parkway Central Library. Philadelphia is a very popular tourist spot, as we know, even in hot conditions like this. Now, walking up and down Independence Hall is a bit taxing, though, on your body today. Just think if you're one of the tour guides or the actors out there. Our Marcelo Bayeto shares how those working outdoors are, and the visitors as well are coping with this sweltering heat. This bus is going to leave at 1230. Even in the middle of these scorching temperatures, it's business as usual for Larry Aller. It's not as bad as it could be, but it's still pretty hot and humid. It's not so much the heat, it's the humidity. The tour bus ticket salesman near Independence Hall is getting a little relief by drinking ice cold water bottles under an umbrella. Well, I'll go through at least three or four an hour. And he's not the only one seeking out a break from the heat. Uh, it is hot. <laughs> Several tourists found a shady tree or picked up some water ice while others stopped by some fans that were set up near historic attractions. Just today we're just walking around with some water and hats and staying cool. Other tourists were used to the brutal conditions. It really reminds me of Oklahoma heat, the, the humidity out right now and you know just walk out and you're instantly sweating. So yeah, we're doing okay. As the day continued, the feels like temperatures rose to above 105 degrees as people continued filling up tour buses and waiting in line to see the Liberty Bell. But for Aller, he's still finding a bright spot in the blazing heat. People just seem to be going on their merry way and doing pretty good. So basically, um, you know, they don't seem to be affected by the heat as much as I am. <laughs> but there's a nice little cool breeze once in a while, so it's not too, too bad. As of now, the excessive heat warning is in effect until tonight in our area. So a reminder to stay hydrated and stay cool. In Old City, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia. We'll track the temperatures and any storms heading our way. Check the next weather forecast anytime. Just go to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com slash weather.